Hi guys and welcome to Untold Bizarre True Crime where I talk about the lesser known and truly bizarre crimes and mysteries throughout history. So today we'll be talking about the David Stone disappearance. So let's jump right in. The last time David Stone, who was 29, was seen alive was early on Halloween in 1988 walking down a desert dirt road in a t-shirt and carrying a yucca walking stick. Larry Rivers was driving along that dirt road in Rodeo, New Mexico when he spotted David walking. Rivers pulled alongside David asking, quote, what are you doing here? End quote. To which David replied, quote, I'm looking for the beast. End quote. He was never seen alive again. So David Stone had been traveling from San Diego to El Paso to be the best man at his best friend Steve Haskins' wedding. Steve Haskins is the son of University of Texas El Paso uh, basketball coach Don Haskins. David Stone lettered in football at UTEP where he had been a linebacker. David was a successful stock market analyst who was deep into the New Age movement as he looked for spiritual guidance, so it was said. He had issues with control and anger for years that seemed to come to a head on October 28th of 1988. On that day, he had a party at his apartment when he got into an argument with one of his friends. During the argument, David lost control, attacking and hitting his friend repeatedly. After the violent attack, David confessed to his friends and family about his issues and said he should go on a walkabout to reflect on his behavior. He told them he would ref return in a few days. Sheriff Bill Cavalier, the investigating officer, stated that on the morning of Halloween 1988, David walked into the desert 145 miles east of Tucson, Arizona. It was then that farmer Larry Rivers spoke to him that last time. But throughout the day, several local residents said they saw him around the desert. It was said that he was acting strangely, talking to himself and walking through rough terrain. When David Stone didn't show up for the wedding rehearsal, his prominent business father, Harry Stone, contacted every sheriff's office between San Diego and Lordsburg. None had seen David, but officers in Hidalgo County found his car parked. Um, it was parked at a cockeyed angle on New Mexico 80 on November 5th, 1988, which was 14 miles south of Road Forks. A search party scoured the area until November 10th when David's car was towed away. On February 23rd, 1992, David Stone's bones were found by the Javelina hunting party in a granite outcropping about a mile west of the highway between Rodeo and Road Forks. The back of his skull was shattered and had been chewed by animals. Unfortunately, a cause or time of death couldn't be determined, um, but it was said that his skull was shattered by animals. Um, the state office of the medical investigator in Albuquerque uh, stated that he did not sustain any injury just before or at the time of his death. There was no reason to believe he sustained any trauma. David's eyeglasses, car keys, driver's license, a gold chain, credit cards, and clothing are still missing, although remains of his shoes were recovered. That area was known for drug smugglers, so David's father theorized he may have been at the wrong place at the wrong time. Harry Stone stated that his son had a good reputation as a stockbroker since going into the business in 1982 after graduating from UTEP. 
but in May 1988, he moved to California to study writing. That being said, as I stated in the beginning, there were many speculations that David had joined a New Age commune. The Stones and investigators have pieced together this itinerary. So, David leaves San Diego October 29th. He checked into a motel in Eloy, Arizona, slept for a few hours, then drove to Tucson. At 10.22 p.m., he got $200 from an ATM. At 4.03 a.m. the next day, so October 30th, he got gas and drove to Road Forks and turned south on New Mexico 80. On November 2nd, state police found his abandoned car. By then, David Stone was believed to have been wandering the area for four days. People reported seeing him walking along the highway and standing and gazing at Granite Peak with a pad in his hand as if he was sketching or writing. David's family believes he went on a vision quest, which is common among, pe among people in the New Age movement. In this quest, the person goes on a journey to learn more about him or herself. Mysteriously, David seemed to have left several clues after he vanished. They did appear to relate to the New Age movement. He first left his car by a pyramid shaped by pyramid shaped mountains, um, and pyramids were important in the movement. On his trail from his car to Granite Peak, um, searchers found a pyramid of rocks surrounded by a triangle. On the next day, searchers found another pyramid with David's watch and two quarters next to it. Three miles north, a string of numbers written in sand was found. They realized that they were Fibonacci ones, which are used by engineers and stock market analysts. But instead of 21 ending the sequence like it should, David wrote 18. So it was either a mistake or it could have been a cryptic message as he was number 18 in college football and his car was very close to mile marker 18 on highway 80. Investigators believe it could have been a coded distress signal. While looking through his car, David's parents found a strange note that read, quote, they think the word is in the safe. Six knives in Rob's room. Use, buys, your tea, and use, take, your chances, Halloween, end quote. Halloween being the day he vanished, to this day, nobody knows what happened or why he acted so strangely before disappearing or what that note meant in his car. Um, technically... This is still an active investigation as they don't know what happened to him, if he met with foul play, or if he died of um, the elements, dehydration, being in the desert. It's really unknown, and I'm not sure that it ever will be known unless somebody that knows more information comes forward. Um, it is very sad for the family and just strange um I had to I mean this you can kind of really go deep into a, a rabbit hole with this one um I had no idea what the new age movement was so I had to look that up and it was a uh, group in the 70s and 80s that believed that the world would be ending soon um, some people believe it to be kind of like a cult. I'm not sure. Like I said, you can go deeper down that rabbit hole if you'd like. But, um, this is the story of David Stone. Uh, he was born on March 18th, 1959 in El Paso, Texas. And disappeared Halloween of 1988 well that was the last time he was seen um 
thank you guys so much for listening as always and um please like and subscribe it's free for you does a ton of help for me um so thank you guys hope you have a good night